Hi everybody. Today we're drawing some Batman villains. Just from some basic sketches here, I chose Catwoman to start off with. Uh, just because it's just a, a fun pose. I, I enjoy drawing dynamic poses. Here we go with uh, the inking stage, as you might call it, in comics. I'm using Procreate. I typically use Clip Studio Paint. I just have gotten very familiar with that program. Beforehand I was using Photoshop. But uh, Procreate is slowly growing on me. At first, it just wasn't very intuitive. Uh, probably just because my Clip Studio brain just was not gelling with a lot of the stuff that I'm used to. But, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, Google helps, and I've been uh, figuring out how to master this new medium, which I have to say is a lot more user friendly for video right now. I hope Clip Studio Paint can step up their game because. Uh, so far, this is kind of what I'll be using until I figure out better ways to record my work. So here we go with the background. I want to put her in a setting where I put some context to her motion there. Uh, she's you know, jumping over a ledge. And now I'm adding the base colors here to kind of just fill it in. And then as I do that, I, I'm kind of starting to figure out, well, what would be a cool color scheme? And I enjoy dynamic colors, so I chose a complementary color to purple, which was yellow, and uh, it used oranges and some warm, bright, vibrant colors to contrast with her figure there. And at this point, now it's about trying to get things to mesh together. So you add in some shades of the darker, rustic uh, oranges, reds, and then the highlights. And then, you know, it's, it's a lot of it's back and forth of putting on some, slapping on some color and then kind of pulling it back. Slapping on some color, pulling it back or adjusting it. In this case, you know, she's got kind of like a, a slick suit, like, a, you know, like maybe like leather, uh, shiny uh, textures. So she's going to have some spots where it's very yellow, other spots where it's more uh, dark. And, uh, you know, here we go again with me, you know, kind of slapping on the color, pulling it back. And a lot of this is just kind of figuring it out and feeling it out. And, you know, a lot of it can be some trial by error, but as you keep doing this, you'll develop more confidence and you'll, you'll be able to trust your judgment. And oftentimes it's the stuff that you don't tweak to death that ends up looking really good at the end. Meowza.